Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Άμμομοι εν οδό, αλληλούια. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου. Αλληλούια. decisions at all times. Alleluia. My soul has grown tired from sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Alleluia. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to love of gain. Alleluia. Despondency to cold of me because of sinners who forsake your law. Alleluia. I am a partner with all those who fear you and to keep your commandments. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the repose of the soul of the sleeping servant of God, Eleni 
and that you may be forgiven every offence, whether deliberate or unintended. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord our God may place his soul where the righteous dwell, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of the heavens, and the remission of her sins, let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your sleeping servant, Elenio Christ our God. And to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Συνετισόν με και μαθήσω με τα σέντολα σου, ελέησον με κυρίε. I have become like a wine skin in the frost, yet I have not forgotten your judgments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I belong to you, save me. For I have sought your precepts. Have mercy on me, O Lord. From your decisions I did not turn away, for you have given me the law. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I have inclined my heart to follow your precepts forever in recompense. Have mercy on me, O Lord. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have dispersed your law. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Και ελέησον με αλληλούια, επίβλεψον επέ με και ελέησον με κατά το κρίμα των αγαπώντων το όνομά σου, αλληλούια. I am young and count as nothing, yet I have not forgotten your judgments, αλληλούια. Hear my voice, O Lord, in your mercy, and according to your decision, give me life. Alleluia. Rulers have pursued me without a cause, and my heart has been fearful of your words. Alleluia. My soul shall live and praise you, and your decisions will help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Seek your servant, for your commandments I have not forgotten. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the gateway of paradise. May I also find the path through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost. O Saviour, call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your judgments. Of old you created me from nothing and honoured me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commandment, Lord, you returned me to the earth from which I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. I am an image of your inexpressible glory, though I bear the scars of my failings. In your loving kindness, Master, have compassion and cleanse the person you have formed. Grant me the homeland for which I yearn, 
making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your judgments. Give rest, O God, to your servant, and place her in paradise, where the choirs of the saints and the righteous will shine out as bright lights. Give rest to your departed servant, Lord, and overlook all of her offenses. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly raise our voice in praise of the threefold radiance of the one God. Holy are you, eternal Father, co-eternal Son and divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and rescue us from the eternal fire. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Hail, honoured Lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh to save us all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise, O Theodokos, pure and blessed. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxas, O Theodokos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, where there is no pain, nor sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of things against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Ever blessed be the way on which you walk today, for there has been prepared for you a place of everlasting walk 
today, for there has been prepared for you a place of everlasting rest. Let us be attentive. To you, Lord, will I cry, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, we would not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do not do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, we who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive, we who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to those who had believed in him, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will not be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will not in any way reject. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And the will of my Father who sent me is this, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but raise it up on the last day. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Ελέγξον ημάς ο Θεός κατά το μέγα ελέος σου δομεθά σου επάκουσον και ελέησον. Έτι δε όμεθα υπέρ αναπαύσεως της ψυχής της και κοιμημένης δούλης του Θεού Ελένης και υπέρ του συγχωρηθήνε αυτή παν πλημέλημα εκούσιόντε και ακούσιόν. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Όπως Κύριος ο Θεός τάξει την ψυχήν αυτή σεν θα οι δίκαιοι αναπαύονται τα ελέη του Θεού την βασιλείαν των ουρανών και άφεσιν των αυτής αμαρτιών Παρά Χριστό το αθανάτο βασιλεί και Θεό ημών ετισόμεθα. Του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death, made the devil powerless and given life to your world. Grant rest, Lord, to the soul of your sleeping servant, Eleni, in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or sighing. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which he may have committed in word, deed, or thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness endures forever, and your law is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your sleeping servant, Eleni, O Christ, our God, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Δόξασή ο Θεό, Σιμών, δόξασή ο και νεκρών και ζώων των την εξουσία ανέχουν ω θάνατο βασιλεύ. Και αναστά εκ νεκρών Χριστό αληθινό Θεό, Σιμών, τε πρεσβείε τη Παναχράντου, Αγία Αυτού Μητρό, των Αγίων Ενδόξων και Πανεφήμων Αποστόλων, των Οσίων και Θεοφόρων Πατέρων Ημών, των Αγίων Ενδόξων Προπατόρων Αβραάμ, Ισαάκ και Ιακώβ, του Αγίου και Δικαίου Φίλου Αυτού Λαζάρου του Τετραημέρου και πάντων των Αγίων, την ψυχή τη Εξημών Μεταστάση Δούλη Αυτού Ελένη. Εν σκηνέ δικαιών τάξε, εν κόλπη Αβράμα να πάψε και με τα δικαίων συναριθμίσε, ημάς δε ελεήσε και σώσε ω αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο. Eternal be your memory, our sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Αιωνία σου η μνήμη αξιομακάριστο και αίμνηστο αδελφή ημών. Eternal be your memory, our sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Eonia imnimi, Eonia imnimi, Eonia aftis imnimi. Eternal be the memory, Eternal. Eternal be the memory. Eternal be the memory. Eternal be her memory. The Ephron to Nagion Pateronimon, Kyrie Isu Christe O Theos. Ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Blessed is the way on which you are traveling today, for there has been prepared for you a place of everlasting rest. Μακαρία η οδός ή πορεύει σήμερον ότι η τιμάστηση τόπος αναπαύσεως. The word for rest or peace is what I'd like to talk about today and the importance of understanding that this whole experience of death can be understood in a positive way, as much as it hurts for us who are remaining alive in this life, in this physical life. And this theme of rest, the Greek being anapavsis, anapavsis is the experience of, you know, sitting under a nice shady tree and just appreciating a nice cool breeze, that falls under the definition of anapavsis. Anapavsis can also apply to having a break from all sorts of dramas in life. Life is full of ups and downs, and sometimes taking a break, the word you would use in Greek is anapavsi. I take a break. I seek some peace. I seek the ability to start a new, a new chapter. So you can see how all this ties in with the experience of death as well in that for us Christians, death is not the end of the story, but death is simply the beginning of the next chapter. A certain author writes, in a family of four children, I, the eldest, was only 12 when our father died. I shall never forget the shock we children felt when our mother told us that our father had died. 
We all cried as though our hearts would break. Then our mother did something which has been a source of comfort and peace to me throughout all the years that have followed. She sat down on her chair, gathered us around her. She opened her Bible and she read us some words from our Saviour Jesus Christ. The passage that she happened to open up to was, Let not your heart be troubled. I will not leave you comfortless. I leave you with peace. I give to you my peace. Not as the world do I give you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And immediately our crying stopped. And there came upon us a godly peace which passed all understanding. My dear friends, there is peace. We have a definition of peace in the world, the worldly definition of peace as no fighting. And then there is something that we call the peace of God, which is better perhaps explained as inner peace. We say that. Inner peace. I'm seeking inner peace. I'm seeking calm in my life. But peace of God also extends into the next life, eternal life. In the first letter of John, chapter 2, we hear, the whole world passes away and the desires of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. There is peace peace of God in knowing that we are children of a heavenly father and that not one of us is ever forgotten before God. Not one sparrow falls to the ground unless it be the father's will, said Jesus. And when we do fall, whether it be by the swift death of a heart attack or by the slow death of a cancer. In any case, in both cases, in either case, we fall right into the love of God's embrace. That same love which transforms the grave of every believer into a gateway leading to life eternal. There is peace, peace of God in knowing that when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Master and when we come into oneness with God, taking his commandments as our precepts of life, when we choose to walk with him on the right path, makaria iodos, blessed is the way on which you are walking today. Life becomes new and a glorious thing. It is clad with new beauty, a new loveliness, a new strength. When we accept the path of Christ as the path of our life, then death does not even feel like death, but life and a new chapter of life. And this life becomes such a lovely thing that we cannot conceive of its ending with our definition of death, the common definition of death. And I'll finish with a nice poem. Servant of God, well done. Rest from your loved employ. The battle fought, the victory won, Enter 
into your master's joy. The pains of death are past, labor and sorrow cease, and life's long warfare closed at last. Your soul is found in peace. And now I'll read a eulogy prepared by the family, and I thank the family for this. Helen was born on the 6th of November 1965 in Sydney to her mother, Njovi, and father, Savas, affectionately known as Sam. She has two protective older brothers, George and Steve, who most of you would know as the sibling from MKR, or My Kitchen Rules. After Helen's mother was tragically taken in her early 40s, she was left to take on the role of mother to the boys. She was at the age of 16. It was then that she was thrown into the deep end and became, as the Greeks would say, a nikokira. She thrived in the role, cleaning and entertaining and of course cooking with the help of her brothers. In fact, both Steve and George also became excellent cooks. Helen's travel career started in 1985 as a receptionist. Over the years, she built an amazing and well-respected reputation with Consolidated Travel, Sydney Flight and Travel, travel.com.au, lastminute.com.au, What If, Expedia, Travel Edge, News Corp and Luxury Escapes, where she held executive positions. In fact, she was a guru when it came to online travel and negotiating with companies. She made things happen. Helen's Midas touch was not restricted to her travel career, but also to her life outside of travel. After a short courtship, Helen married the love of her life, Andrew. They lost her first son, Philip, in 1992. But sadness was then turned to joy when they were blessed with the birth of James, born in 1995, and Isabella in 1998. In the middle of all this and raising a family, Helen auditioned for a TV cooking show, MKR, My Kitchen Rules. And so our celebrity was born. Throughout her life, Helen was an honest, loyal and respectful person who always thought about others. We knew her as an entertainer, always caring and cooking for others. Putting others first was part of her DNA. Her warmth, humour, love and caring nature will sadly be missed. allow us to quote a recent message which was received that typified Helen and the legacy she has left. Helen believed deeply in family coming together and the power that food had to facilitate it. Her home was the halfway house. Whether it was Easter, Christmas, birthdays, name days, or just any day, you could show up at the front door with 20 friends and leave with a full stomach, and even come back the next day for round two. Helen's talent and influence has now been passed on to her beautiful children. They have learnt from the best. We will all sadly miss our beautiful wife and mother, but her legacy will live on. This world was never meant for anyone as beautiful as you. I thank the family for the eulogy. Dear friends, St George Church community also expresses its warmest sympathies and condolences to the family, given that um, the, the Mitril family were long-standing uh, parishioners here at uh, Rose Bay, living uh, nearby. One lesser known detail is that during uh, COVID, Helen offered herself up to participate in our Young Adults Fellowship here at our church. And she ran 
cooking demonstrations via Zoom for our young adults. And I tuned in to, um, well, there's one specific cooking demonstration I remember, and there were about 70 young adults that had tuned in to that um, cooking demonstration. She also did live demonstrations here in our hall downstairs, and she would always give consideration to putting in a Christian theme uh, for a church event like this young adult fellowship. And so she said to me, Father, what would you like me to do? What, what food or meal should I be demonstrating to the children, to the young adults? And I said, look, whatever you think, Helen. And she said, you know what, Father, I think it's the right thing that we teach them some nistissima foods. But coming to a church, well, the church teaches fasting as a self-disciplined thing. Well, let's do that. And so she would put a twist on a typical Greek meal, but use nistissima ingredients, fasting ingredients. And as she was giving the demonstration, she would tie in the message and the importance of self-discipline for us Greek Orthodox Christians. She was always attuned to the principles of the Greek Orthodox faith. We will all miss her. I'm sure I'm speaking on all your behalf and we convey that to the family. Now, dear friends, given that there are so many of you and that is, of course, testament to the strong relationships and uh, great presence that Helen had in all of your lives, uh, given that there are so many of you, we won't be able to do the condolences in the church. It will take too long. But the family will be receiving your condolences and sympathies at the wake, which will be um, held at Horizons uh, at Marubra. So if you can just Google Horizons Marubra, uh, that'll come up, uh, Marine Parade uh, Marubra. You are also welcome to attend the burial, which will take place at Botany Cemetery, if you so wish. I ask that you remain in your places and come up row by row to give your respects. The family will be given that opportunity first and they will head out straight away uh, to head uh, to um, Botany Cemetery. And as you exit, you can head out that way too. And um, the family, as I said, will be receiving you at Horizons at Marubra. Αγαπητοί φίλοι και γνωστοί και συγγενείς της αείμνης της Ελένης Δημητρίου, θα παραμείνετε στις θέσεις σας, θα έρθετε σειρά σειρά να δώσετε την τιμή σας στην αείμνηστη, πρώτα η οικογένεια και λόγω του ότι είμαστε τόσοι πολλοί σήμερα εδώ, δεν θα κάνουμε τον χαιρετισμό ε, των συλληπιτηρίων εδώ μέσα στον ναό. Η οικογένεια θα σας δεχτεί για τα συλληπιτήρια στο εστιατόριο Horizons, στο Marubra, και βεβαίως, αν θέλετε και μπορείτε και επιθυμείτε, μπορείτε να έρθετε στην ταφή η οποία θα γίνει στο νεκροταφείο του Πότσενη. Σας ευχαριστούμε για την υπομονή σας.